Hey, uh, how you doing? Oh, did I click record? Um, hey, welcome back to the crazy. Yep, we're still crazy around here. Yep, it's been a long time. And yep, I missed y'all. Wish you could be here right now. Lay here by my side. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I should have wrote a script. <laughs> it's taken me a long time to get back here on this side of the camera. Um, yeah, so some things have changed. Um, it's been, I don't, I, I didn't go back and look at my last video to see exactly how long it's been, but I think it's been just about a year since I've been on and maybe a little longer. Um, and in that year we've had quite a few things going on. So I'm trying to keep this like my channel should be a happy place. So in this past, well, actually here recently at the end of March, we said goodbye to Sam and Marcus got older. <laughs> Didn't you Marcus? Do you want to come say hello? No. Why? They missed us. No. <laughs> we are still the same. Marcus is not going to come get on the camera with me, but that's what it is. Okay. So, um, but shortly before we said goodbye to Sam, we did get a new addition to the family. Come here so you can say hello. Oi, oi. He's not so little anymore, but uh, he's six months old. This is Benjamin Bradley. Say hello, Ben. Oh, he's being shy, but he is so not shy. That's Benjamin Bradley, he's six months old. He is the same kind of dog that Sam is. He's just going to look a little differently. He's going to have a little bit of different hair. Um, but we're going to see how big he gets. It's the first day that I attempted to put on some makeup in my, on my face in, uh, since the last time I shot a video. So there, there's that. Don't really know how that it goes. It was... <laughs> I should have filmed it because uh, it would have been a comical video. Well, yeah. <laughs> the most important part. I had my weight loss surgery. Uh, in December and let me tell you that everybody is different and one size does not fit all and even with weight loss surgery it's not to some it is a quick fix but it is still um, it doesn't go as fast for most like people think so I had my operation on December 1st, which is about six months, six months ago. And at six months, I have lost 55 pounds. So it's not one of those, you go have the surgery and boom, wake up skinny. No, it is absolutely still a work in progress. It goes slow for me. Now I have I know quite a few people who have had it and they lost very quickly. Um, however, I'm not one of those people. I lose very slow. So I'm kind of okay with it now. In the beginning, I wasn't okay with it. I was very, very frustrated because I was thinking, oh my goodness, here I did this whole big old surgery and it still isn't going to work. Now, mind you, it is slow. It is very slow. I'm actually within the last maybe this month, uh, no, what month, Bridget, in the month of May is when I actually started to see, oh, some pants don't fit anymore. Um, I feel a little different. So I can tell in certain spots on my body that I've lost the weight, like <laughs> these boobs are OMG. That's all I can say. OMG. OMG. I wish that I could have the operation to get these things fixed now because if I could, I would, but they are so deflated that <laughs> I can't even imagine. I can't even get some tube socks 
and tape some tube socks to your chest and just let them hang down. Kim's boobs. There you go, Kim's boobs. Um, what else? Oh, I can tell by the, uh, and I even have all the extra skin on my boobs, but I can tell here in my arms that my arms, you know, have, they were already wingish, but now they're even more wingish. So before the operation, I had like um, crow wings. Now I have like vulture wings. <laughs> I could probably fly back home to Texas with these things. I don't know. I haven't tried yet, but I'm sure it would work. Um, but I'm also one something that you have to do with weight loss surgery is you can't just. Well, okay, I'm not gonna say that. I'm in a group with a bunch of people who have had surgery, who haven't had surgery, who've had different types of surgery as far as weight loss surgery. And there's a lot of people in there that are different. Some have had the operation, lost weight pretty quickly, didn't have to um, watch what they ate, didn't have to exercise, didn't have to do any of that stuff, and they just lost the weight. Then there's a lot that struggle. There's a lot of people that struggle um, with food, um, with losing the weight, just all types of things. I can tell you with me, I am so over the moon happy that I did have the surgery um, because I can see now that without this surgery, I probably never would have lost this weight or lost any weight. Just even looking now after the surgery, how hard it is still for the weight to come off, um, I probably never would have lost it. And I'm fortunate that I have not had any issues or complications actually okay i'll take that back i had one small minor minor one which was shortly after the surgery i had a case of what do they call it um gout in my hand that um it sw just happened overnight it sw swole it got swollen and then it was hard i couldn't move it um and then i went to the doctor i got some medicine and it was gone within a couple of days um, that's the only complication I've had. I haven't had any issues whatsoever with the exception of constipation. Oh yeah. Did I tell y'all we were going to get raw and real on here? Oh yeah. <laughs> Go get you something to drink and get a bag of chips and we're going to get raw and real. I, I do have some clothes to show y'all, but they're not really that important because I didn't really know what to do for my first video coming back. So I had these clothes because I... So I never stopped ordering stuff, y'all. I, I still continue to order. Um, I even ordered between <laughs> the last time I shot a video and December. Wow, I was ordering like crazy. And then it kind of trickled down and slowed down after December. But um, yeah, I never filmed any of it. And so I have some, some pieces that I think I ordered. Uh, I, some old pieces, there you go, some old pieces. Um, and I'm going to show them to you just because, you know, this is a torrid haul slash, hey, did y'all miss me? <laughs> um, but where was I talking about? One of the reasons that I'm talking about this is I've had a few requests from some people that are interested in the weight loss journey. And I, you know, last year I even said that I was going to film my weight loss journey. Um, but I wasn't in the right headspace to be able to do that. Last year was a bit of a struggle for me. Overall, it was hard. Last year was hard. Um, it was enough for me to be able to go to work. That was it. I, I, did all, I used up all my energy to go to work. Um, but anyways, since the surgery, um, yeah, like I said, the only mild complication that I can say that I've had was I had a little bout of constipation, which is the norm. It's the absolute norm. I think everybody that has this goes through this and it's really just your body getting back, getting into a new rhythm, a new cycle. Um, and you have to drink a lot of water and that's hard. It's really, really hard. You know, when your stomach is like that big, it's hard drinking a lot of water. In the beginning it gets easier as time goes by um but it is hard i ain't gonna lie that that is hard <laughs> it's, it's a struggle 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 i think um 
even today, if I don't consciously think of drinking, then it can be real easy. Like uh, on a day when we're out and about, I can go a whole day without drinking because I just don't think about it, um, which is not good. Um, but that kind of passes. You get, you get, you learn to do certain things and then that kind of passes. Um, I haven't had any issues with food. None whatsoever. Why do I say none? I did have an issue with two things, which does not break my heart. So I know I can't do lentils right now. No. And I can't do ramen. No. Those two things tried to kill me. And so they're off the menu permanently. But I don't have any problems with sugar. I don't have any problems with regular noodles. I don't have any problems with potatoes. I don't have any problems with breads. I don't have any of those issues. And a lot of people, like I said, it's different from person to person because there's some people they can't take any sugar at all. There's some people they can't take the sugar alcohols. There's some people they can't take the sweeteners. There's some people they can't do breads at all. Um, just different things. There's some people that can't do dairy at all. I don't have that problem because I, you know, I don't do dairy anyways. But I don't have any of those issues other than um, I know I can't do ramen is 100% a no. And I can't do super dry. So the lentils, why I took them off my menu is because I ate lentils for dinner one night. And I put them up for leftovers. And the next day I put them in the microwave. And then things tried to take me out, y'all. Tried to take me out. <sighs> I, the only relief I got was I had to make myself throw up. Mm -hmm. Yep, that happened. And then I felt a little better. And so then after that, I said, no more lentils. But for the most part, there's not much that I don't eat or that I can't eat. Um, One thing that had, the biggest blessing I have from this operation is that it kind of took my sweet tooth away. I do still want no i'll eat something sweet like but it, a small teensy tiny bit is enough for me like uh i have a friend who gave me some vegan sugar-free gummy bears i ate one of those gummy bears one and i said okay these things are way too sweet so that little bag will probably last me a year um i I tried donuts. I can't eat a whole donut. I can eat maybe half a donut and then I'm done. Um, so, but I now don't, stuff that takes too long to eat, I don't want anymore. Like a pizza, a pizza would take me a whole week to eat. I don't want pizza anymore because who wants to eat pizza every single day? No, don't get me wrong. No, most of the time what I do is I'll cook something on Sunday and that will last me pretty much the whole week. So I will eat it for lunch almost every day. And then dinner, I might make something small um, at home. Uh, they told me before my operation that after the operation, I should be able to eat about 250 grams at a time, which is about a cup of food at a time. I'm barely there. I'm almost there, but I, I'm, I'm some days I cannot make it to 200 grams. Some days I can make it to just a little bit over 200 grams. But I still, I'm not at 250 grams yet. Um, I don't have a loss of energy. I do have a problem remembering to take, to take my vitamins. That is an issue. But for the most part, I do pretty well. Um, you do still have to exercise. There are some people that say, oh, I never exercise. And I didn't exercise and this, that, and the other. I, um, I cheated. I cheated. Okay, so what I mean by I cheated is I have a friend who had the um, surgery and I asked her, you know, because the last time I went to the doctor, because you have to go to, to the doctor so often, and they said, oh, you need to start going to work because I, I do walk, so I get cardio in. Um, you need to start um, muscle training. You need to start doing some kind of, you know, weight strength training. So... I went and I was like, ah, oh, did you go to the gym? Because they're talking about the gym. She's like, nope, never went to the gym. I went and did EMS. What is that? It's electrical muscle stimulation. It takes 20 minutes and it's like a two and a half hour workout. <laughs> Sign me up. So I went 
and I did a, tr uh, a trial day and I was like, yep, I'll do it. Now, it's 20 minutes, but those 20 minutes are 20 minutes of work. You are sweating. Like I went on Friday, I thought that man was trying to, <laughs> I thought that man was legit trying to kill me. So it's not easy. It is, it is strenuous. So I'd go two times a week. One day I do strength training and the other day I do cardio training, but each session is 20 minutes. And like I said, both sessions, you are in there pump. I mean, you're sweating, sweating, sweating. And when you leave, you feel like, whew, you're done. But, um, I can say that since I started going, cause you have to put on this, like they give y'all let me tell y'all well, okay when we when i first went and the guy was showing me around the place and showing all that you have to do and they have like this tight shirt and these like nylon pants both of them are like nylon like nylon uh they're like chub rub pants and you have to put on their shorts and you put those on and then they put this like vest thing on you and then they hook you up and then that's when you start doing your movements so when he was telling me, yeah, you'll, you know, he was showing me the fitting rooms and he was showing me, you know, when you change and this and the other. And he said, you'll have to take your bra off. I'm sorry, sir. What? I have to take what? And walk out there? Yes. Uh, you know, you've grown solid as a rock. <laughs> when you could take these out of a bra casing and walk out in front of other people. Yep. Yep. So yes, I have to walk, walk out there in this tight nylon -y shirt and then they put this vest on you. So last week, yeah, it was last week. My, okay. When I originally went and I hope I'm not boring y'all. I really do. Um, but it's been so long since I've talked to y'all. So can I ramble? Okay. Um, when I first went, I was like, do y'all have a suit that'll fit me? You know, and they were like, oh yeah, no problem. So they have these vests. And so for my size, they put the vests that have, they are adjustable on the side and then they have an extra sleeve that went so you could zip it up. So that's what I had. And then last week, Wednesday, I, the guy gave me, he, he gave me my vest and I put it on and I'm all like, and he's like, what's wrong with it? And I'm like, I don't know. And so and then finally I got it up and so then he hooks me up and then the guy comes over oh no and then he went to put the arm thing on he had all of the wrong sizes for me so the arm one didn't fit but the vest didn't have the insert in it anymore so I was able to put the regular you know not a regular vest but the rest without the insert on anymore so then when I went Friday and the guy that did my training on Friday. He's the one that signed me up. And he was like, look at that. He was like, look, look at your progress. He's like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I was like, well, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, it's the small things, the small things. It's a slow process, but it is a process. Um, I will tell y'all by the time I, in December, so from about maybe end of July to the beginning of December, I had put on weight. So I was no longer, before then, like when I was last filming with you guys, I was in a 20, a tight 20. And then it kept going on and 20s were getting too uncomfortable. So I started ordering 22s. And so by the time I went in for my operation, I was wearing 22s. And um, y'all, I'm about to show y'all, I have on 18s. I haven't had 18s on since I was in my 20s. As a matter of fact, no, I'm lying. 18 when I was 18, I think. 18 or 19 was the last time I had. They were 18 Lee jeans. Got them at Sears. Mm -hmm. That was the last time I wore 18s. But, um, 18s. <laughs> okay. So for those in the back that are rolling their eyes because they're like, where's the torrid hall? The torrid hall is coming. This is just a piece. I'm not done talking to you about my weight loss journey. Um, 
And when I say journey, it is a journey because I'm not one of those that can lose the weight really fast. Like the girl that told me about the EMS training, she lost her weight super fast. By, by this time, by six months in, she was already out of plus size clothes, completely out of plus size clothes. Um, I have another girlfriend, same thing. I, can, I don't know if it was six months in or how, how fast, but she was really quickly out of plus size clothes. Mine is a very slow process and the gut area is obviously for me going to be the last to go as usual. So this shirt, it's a size two and actually looking at it in the video, I'm curious, what would a size one have looked like? If the size two was fitting like this, I probably could have tried a size one, but I'm not there yet to comfortable to try a size one yet oh well look at that i just no, never mind this two will work you know what there's all kinds of adjustments you can do on this okay so you can make these straps smaller and look at this it has a tie thing you could make this tighter too i'm about to try that unfortunately y'all it's sold out on the website um there was a lot of stuff that i was going to link to the video and so much of it is gone so this is really just for y'all to see me in some clothes <laughs> and for us to sit down and chat. So yeah, you'll see this in the video, size two. Then I had this, whoa. Then I had this little outfit that I ordered last year. It was still wrapped in, wrapped up in the clothes and I took it off and I put it on and just because I wanted to show y'all some clothes. The, look, this haul is not really a haul for y'all to see it and go out and get it. This is more like, Hey, <laughs> it's me, it's me. Um, but this thing is so comfortable. Now, what was I thinking when I ordered it? Um, I ordered it in a size two bottom and I think the top is a two, the top is a two. I ordered this last year. There is no way on this earth that I would have fit this last year. No way, because when y'all see it, y'all understand what I'm talking about. Then I've got, well, everything's just falling. Then I got these shorts. Um, they are elastic waistband. They tie. They're comfortable. They're a little short. Um, they are in a size two. I'm running through everything because I need to get I need to get through this video before I lose some of y'all. Some of y'all have already clicked out and they're gone and they're not even going to get to see some of these clothes. Okay, so then here's these shorts. These I think are still online. If they, I'm going to go back through and if this stuff is still on there, I'm going to link it down so you have it. But when I first saw these, I was like, oh, these are cute. They're not denim. They're something else. I, I want to get them. But then I started thinking online, they looked, they just looked like they were going to be itchy and hard, but they're not. They are super smooth. As a matter of fact, the material, what is this material? Oh, it's 92% polyester and spandex and um, super smooth, super lightweight. I can't even believe that these are 18s as baggy as they are. Wait till you see them on. Then I've got this off the shoulder, um, one shoulder, eyelet top. Um, now I paired them with the shorts just for the video, but I didn't get this for that. So there's that, it's kind of cute. I'm not sure if that's still online, but again, like I said, now this shirt. I am like running through these clothes because I wasted all my time blabbing. Okay, this shirt. This is a two. It's also an eyelet. They have this in this color and in a white. And it's 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 too big. It's too big, but I'm gonna make it work. It's too big. But it it's too big. But boy, isn't it cute? So it is a size two. What more can I say? I'm gonna talk to y'all more in the videos when I've got the clothes on. Then there's these shorts. I did get this shirt to match these shorts, but kind of looks a little sloppy altogether. These shorts in on everybody else look good. They don't look good on me. It's this waistbandy, super soft, stretchy material with pockets. The shorts are somewhat comfortable, but they are I have a problem with waistbands. Like, okay, this waistband. It's a drawstring. I mean, it's um, um, elastic. 
but it's got a drawstring, so I can pull it to make it stay in place. This does not have a drawstring, and it's gonna ride, and I don't like that. They move, and I think it has a lot to do with my stomach. But hey, maybe one day, one day, it'll be gone. <laughs> but these are comfortable, so for for the for the most, I'll be able to wear them around the house. Okay, now this romper, y'all. I like this romper. I got it. Oh wait, these shorts are in a two. Yeah, these shorts are in a two. This romper is in a two as well. I can't remember if it's still there or not. I think it's gone. Um, but if this stuff, any of the, you know, Torrid likes to bring some of their stuff back. If any of this stuff comes back, I highly recommend. One, I recommend this romper. It is so comfortable and it is so cute. And I just really like the way it fits around the boobage area. It just really, I don't know, it accents them very well. And it has the straps where you can adjust them. So if you need them shorter, but it, the shorts part of it, is a good length so it's not too short and i love that cute little ruffle detail at the bottom 10 out of 10 on the romper 10 out of 10. i just gotta show y'all 18. when i put these on and pulled them up and they buttoned with no problem and I could still go like that on the side, y'all. <laughs> the only thing I'm sad about is they are sold out and you can't go get these yellow. But as soon as they come back, get these yellow jeggings. They are so, I love Torrid jeggings. If they are like this, and they call, they say jegging, get every color. They are so comfortable. They're always lightweight. They move with you. They hug you. They don't stretch out. They are nice. They don't stretch out unless you lose weight, but they are super nice. And I'll say that because I got, you know, the, um, my torrid people, you know, the jeggings that were distressed and have the netting under those. Okay. So I had those in a size 20. Mm hmm. Yeah. Marcus was making fun of me with those on because they were they were a little too baggy. So I went online and ordered an 18 and I got them in an 18 now because I love them. I think I got to wear those 20s maybe two times. I didn't get to wear them enough. So I had to go get the 18s and the 18s came in and yes, they fit. <laughs> and then last I have this sweatsuit. I guess it's a sweatsuit or a sweater suit or I don't know what you would call it but it's just this thickness. It's in a size two. I think the top is a size two as well. Um, yep, size two. It's It was just something cute. I don't know what to say. It looked cute online. It looked like something I would never have purchased before, but I was, you know, feeling it. The only thing that gets me is the wide leg pant, wide leg at the bottom, um, but you'll see it on. So, hey, I'm gonna let y'all go see, and then we'll come back and, uh, and we'll come back. <laughs> Where's my remote? We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up a lot of friends for love to. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. The way this fits, um, it's got a good fit on it. However, it's got a good fit now. When I first originally ordered this last year, or was it last year? I think it was last year. Uh, this wouldn't have fit. So I don't know if I purposely ordered this size, anticipating, you know, a little bit of weight loss or what I was thinking, but this is a size two and this is how it fits. So I do like the fit. I don't think I would have been comfortable with this fit. Oh uh, yeah, we have a new guest. And uh, yeah, I don't think I would have been comfortable with this fit last year, but I'm okay with it this year.
Don't miss that. So again, these, this is a, I think it's a size two shirt. Um, let me see, is it stretching? I think it's got a little bit of stretch, but not very much stretch. Um, but the straps you can adjust. I didn't adjust them because, yeah, lazy like that. Now these shorts, let's talk about these shorts. They're a little short for my comfort. Um, they're still a little too much mm -mm -mm for me to be comfortable out. And I don't know, you know, you know how your shorts like to ride. I don't know how much riding those would do with the walking, but they're comfortable. I do like the fact that they're elastic waist because that makes them very comfortable. Um, I'm just not so sure about the, the length just yet, but we'll see. We'll see after my training, if we can get these legs somewhere. <laughs> never be a model so I don't know how I'm feeling about these shorts they are very comfortable I was kind of when I saw them I was like oh I want these shorts um but then I was like oh but they're gonna be all scratchy they just look like they'd be scratchy and they're not they're actually smooth and soft they they don't have I don't know I just the way they looked you would have thought they were gonna be like a rough like rough linen-y type cotton but no they're not they're kind of smooth and soft and they're stretchy and believe it or not these are 18s i didn't realize they were 18s that i ordered 18s but these are 18s um and i like them maybe with a different shirt i would not wear them with this shirt i just put this shirt on because it was in the package and wanted to show it instead of going to find another shirt anyhow don't i don't like it tucked in but i don't like it tucked out either because i don't like these shorts with the shirt <laughs> And just ignore my um, tube sock, socks here. You know, it's just something we're going through. It's a stage. <laughs> but here's the blouse. Cutesy, cutesy. I do like the blouse and it is very comfortable. Um. So, I don't know, I think, I, I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered this shirt. I, I, I don't know. I really like this shirt, but I guess it's a little too big, but I'll be able to make it work with maybe jeans, not with these shorts. Um, just because it's kind of maybe too big, unless I maybe put a shirt under it. Maybe a white tank under it or something, or maybe just get a colorful bra to wear with it. I did anticipate these, these, this shirt going with these shorts because the color is in it, but I kind of don't like the shorts a little bit. They still ride up too much. I don't know. I have, I've always had a problem with elastic band, uh, sh pants or shorts riding up too much. They don't, they don't actually stay where I put them on. They seem to ride up and these shorts do that. So I think I know over time, if I wore them out, they'd be doing that same thing. So for now, I don't know. I don't know about these shorts. Um, but let me just show you the shirt in, in all its glory. And it's a two, so yeah. But I like the shirt. It's a romper y'all it's a romper and it is a very cute romper it's a very comfortable romper um i have to check before i sit down and talk about this to see if it's still online because i do recommend this for you know romper wearers you can adjust the straps to make them but of course i haven't done that yet i'm still not sure what kind of bra or what you would do under this because i definitely can never ever go braless right now anyways especially right now 
So I would have to figure something out. Um, but any, but it's cute though. And you could also put like, I have a, um, I'm gonna go show you. So you could also put like a little jacket throw type thing on it and dress it up a little bit, put on some like um, wedge sandals or something like that and then dress it up. Or you could just put on some white flats or different color flats and casual it down. But um, I like it. All in all, I like it. I think I would probably still need to put on some, what do you call that? You know what I mean. You know what I mean. That thing that holds you in, makes you firm and smooth. I would need that still. Okay, so this top is not torrid. I just threw it on so that I had something to go with this. This is actually a Lane Bryant top that I got last year. Um, haven't worn it yet. Yeah, but you know, story of my closet. Um, but I saw these um, when they first came out on the website online and I got them right then and there. I did get them in an 18 with anticipation, and I guess I kind of glad I got them in an 18. Um, they're gonna stretch out quite nicely and fit comfortably. They're not, I mean, they're not uncomfortable now. They've still got a little bit of wiggle room in them, um, but when they're a little looser, they'll be even better, better. But trust me, they're not hurting me now. But they are cute. They are sold out online. But you know Torrid is going to bring these back. When they bring them back, get them. Everybody needs a pair of yellow capri pants, short pants, whatever you want to call these. Everybody needs a coat. It needs a pair. So you're going to have to get these. And I love Torrid jeggings because they fit so comfortably. <music> asking it's June why do I have on sweatsuits or whatever this would be called it's like a sweatsuit but it's like a dressier type sweatsuit well I ordered this in the winter time and uh, I don't know why because I thought it was cute and uh, I thought let me order it in a size 2 so I got the complete sold separately in a size 2 um, this is how the shirt looks and it looks so good on the model. I was like, I want to have that. And I want it to look as good as it does on her. But here it is. I think it's still online. I can't be for certain what size is it still online. But man, let me tell you. Look at this. This is a two. Look at that stretch. That's that's some, some good wearing. The top is also a two. So comfort. So, you know, run, don't walk to see so that you can have this ready for when it gets warmer. And I bet you whatever is left online is probably marked down right now. Um, but even so, they may bring it back again. It looks like it was a good seller, so um, I recommend getting it. It's nice and comfortable. And I actually can't wear what to wear. The only part that bothers me is I don't do well with wide legs. I guess I'm not tall enough for wide leg pants. And these are wide legs, so for sure I'm gonna have to wear something walking around like this you know the stuff you don't want to walk around in no i don't walk around like that <laughs> but yeah these are kind of wide leg but they're still very very comfortable just kidding <laughs> i gotta give y'all overload of crazy y'all missed it for a year so you saw all the pieces that i had to showcase for this haul um i do have a lane bryant order on the way i think i have um, one, two, three, three or four pieces in that order. 
and I have a dress haul on the way from Torrid, which is all dresses. Um, so whichever one gets here fastest will be the next one you see in a haul. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you have more questions that you would like me to answer about the weight loss surgery, then leave those questions in the comment and I will be sure to answer them in the next video. Um, it's overwhelming to try to think of everything in your head. I probably could have, you know, jot some, jotted some stuff down. Um, but oh, all in all, I don't regret it. I don't regret it one bit. Um, I've been pretty fortunate compared to others that I don't have any complications and that I haven't had any complications other than the slow weight loss, which it's okay. It'll happen and come when it comes. And everybody keeps saying, oh, the slower, the less skin. Uh, that ain't true. Uh, I know I'm going to have uh, skin to have to have removed. But ooh, let me tell y'all a secret. So I have my first goal. 23 more pounds and I will have, I'll be at my first goal. 23 more pounds and I'll be at my first goal. And I don't know if I'm going to do it at my first goal or if I'm going to do it at my second goal, but there are a few things. Ooh, my mom's going to be watching this video. Mom, you just be a mom and just be quiet. <laughs> no judgment, no calls. There are a few things that I want to do. And one is I'm going to get my lips done. I don't want to have bubble lips. I just want to have smoother lips. So I'm going to get a little bit of injection for my lips. Um, I'm contemplating a nose ring and I want to get a tattoo, a small tattoo. Now, all of those things equate to pain. So they may not happen, but those are things that I want to do. And those are going to be weight loss um, gifts. So when I meet goals, then I'll gift myself. So I just, we'll see which one I do first when I hit that first, when I hit my first goal. But anyway, oh my goodness, how did I used to, end? oh, wait a minute. Hold on. So long, farewell, I'll be to sing goodnight. See you in my next one. I hope y'all come back. <laughs>